system works, obviously the cows wear a responder around their necks and when they've calved, the responder, the coordinates are put into the responder and then it's up to the cow, the cow runs the show really. Um, they do an ABC system, they come in when they're hungry, they know when they've been milked they go to a next break of grass, when they've run out of grass they come looking for food, obviously when you get hungry you go to your pantry, the cows come to the cow shed. The cups are on the, going on the cow successfully. It's going through a device that's looking for a change in colour, which is blood, colostrum and high conductivity. And if there was a problem, over here we've got that it's going into milk tank 1. It's already tested the milk through a process in here. And if there was a discrepancy with the milk, it would go up milk line 2 and it would go into a feed our calves. So the semantic cell count tester here is it's testing for high semitic cell count and with a dairy farmer that's one of the things that we really crucial is that the semitic cell count and the health of the herd reflects on the cell count and this last season we had a cell count of 99 over the whole season which is really good to, to do probably in the top 11 percent in frontera a set of brushes here they go round and round the teeth they stimulate the milk flow they take away any hair or any bacteria and they stop infections going from cow to cow. There's a laser that looks at the, um, it's the cow's udder and then it obviously takes a photo of the memory gland and then a little cup, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And the cups come off as the milk flow drops off and then the cow is given a pre-treatment uh, teat spray to prevent mastitis because the cow's teat canal is open for 10 minutes after the cow leaves. So the, the robots are all about prevention for anything that's going to go wrong with the animal's health. This farm is the same farm, the same cows. We've just got a different concept and we're probably getting 20% better production each year. And we're getting better and better as we're getting more knowledge on what we're doing. Probably breeding, pasture management, and just voluntary milking. I think the cows are relaxed and probably giving more milk than normal. It's changed my life more than a hands-on thuggery farmer to a, what would you call it, like a supervisor really. Yeah, so I'm supervising cows that are going all around the farm and making sure that pasture management is up to scratch, animal health is up to scratch. And also we have a lot of tour groups here as well. So my day that I'm gaining from six hours a day not having to bulk is probably spent talking to people about exciting robot farming. So I can have the country calendar at home. This place is all camera, so I can sit back and go through the cameras and find out what's going on with the cows. If there's ever a call out, I can look on the camera to see what I'm in for. There is, there is a, an investment that probably does look expensive. Um, it's probably a million dollars to turn the key for a retrofit shed. Um, it's gained me six hours a day not having to milk. Um, we do have relievers that can come in and relieve me, um, but the investment is definitely worthwhile. Absolutely. Um, not having to get up at five in the morning and be here at three in the afternoon. You can float throughout the day. These things are very clean. They know what they're doing and they do a great job.